Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Fine. How was your weekend? Uh, fine, fine. With a lot of a uh, lot of work, but it was fine. Good. How are you, teacher? I'm missing you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it, teacher. <laughs> yes, I miss you all. <laughs> You, you you are my group of students <laughs> and I miss you when you when we didn't get together. Okay, it's good to know that. <laughs> and I, I see that uh, there were no messages from from the from the girl. That means that all of us are okay with the platform. I'm happy. Because she said that uh, they will be checking your platforms and will inform you through WhatsApp. And I haven't seen any any messages from her. No. Then we are okay. Okay. <laughs> How, Mr. Rafael? How was your weekend? How are you? Fine, thank you. And you? Okay. Fine. Fine. <laughs> a, a different weekend. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? Well, uh, most of the time um, we are here, my, my three children, my mother and I, and my brother comes from lunch uh, every day. Mm -hmm. But since Danny is with COVID, then my other two children are not here. <laughs> Just Danny, <laughs> uh, my mother and I. But okay. Danny keeps in one room, I keep in another room, and my mother is in another room. So we are isolated. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I guess I had COVID, I guess. I'm not sure. I, I haven't uh, went to, to pay any any to, to figure it out. But um, I haven't had a, a fever, so I don't care. And my mother said, you should go to test yourself. And I said, mom, they will ask me to be isolated. I am already isolated. <laughs> they okay. will ask me to drink water. I always drink water. <laughs> they will ask me to uh, to take pills if I have fever and I have no fever. So what's the point to go there and pay $24? Yes. <laughs> I better go to 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 buy some pizza and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> You're correct. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm that way. I'm that way. If, if I don't have to spend money, I don't spend it. Mm -hmm. Somebody can, can say that I am cheap, but it's not that. It's just that I think that we should spend money on the things that we need. Mm -hmm. and hey, what, is the, what is the word? Cheap. Cheap. Uh, but not the stingy. I could be. Could be. Could be that way. Yeah. Another thing is also. But I prefer cheap. <laughs> what is the other? Stingy. Some others, some hmm. others say uh, elbow. 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 Uh, 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 your classmate ask you what is the other word, Yolanda? Uh, stingy. 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 No, stingy. Stingy. Stingy, stingy, stingy. elbow and chip. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Is the same? Is the same thing or? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, somebody that okay. don't, doesn't like to spend money. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Now, today we are going to see at your servers. Have you seen the video, the introductory video? No, no yet. No, no yet. Okay, you should. You should. <laughs> you had to go ahead. Remember. Well, and that video is is very very funny, and I guess the poor woman. But most of it. I can tell you that uh, we as teachers, uh, Yolanda knows what I mean, could have one of the most uh, stressful uh, jobs in the world. But you have to enjoy it in order to not, to not feel that stress because it's not only the time you are with the children, but also you have to prepare the class. You have to prepare uh, all the uh, visual aids and you have to, to assemble all the material that you need. And also you, you give the class. After you give the class or before you give the class, you also need to know what are you going to leave as a homework. You have to prepare it. And when they made the homework, you have to check the homework and then put the grades, okay? And uh, while you are giving the class, you have to be uh, asking the students to pay attention, asking the students to sit, asking the students to do, do, to do this and that and whatever. And especially Yolanda, she has to, she has to work with very, very uh, little children that no. they, no? No teacher, I am, not, I am not a teacher, I am an accountant. I, I think uh, you are confused. Yes, I am an accountant. Uh, well, someone, <laughs> someone here is a teacher. I remember that she Mr. said Dagoberto, that it's, I think. It's pre, no, preschooler teacher. Ah, uh, no, it's, I think it's Angie. Okay. I, I, okay. I, I, I remember that. Okay, then, then Angie. Sorry, sorry. Well, uh, but you also have a stressful job because you deal with, 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 with money, you know, accountants have to be very accurate. Okay, so any any profession that you choose, if you don't like it, you will feel very very stressful. Okay, so any yeah. any job that you have, you have to enjoy it. You have to learn to work for a living not to live for a work, okay? That's different. You have to learn to work for a living, not to live for a work, okay? When you, when you look at, when you watch the video, you will know what I mean. <laughs> Poor woman. Okay, now, at your service, that means that we are going to talk about work. Okay. Uh, somebody to read, please, the thought from Albert Einstein. Can I try? Yes, go ahead. All of science is nothing more than the refinement of everyday thinking. Okay, thank you very much. Do you understand the thought? No, not very well. Toda la ciencia no es nada más 
que el refinamiento de el pens del pensar diario. O sea, lo que usted piensa a diario, ¿verdad? Se refina y eso es ciencia. How do you pronounce refinement? Or, uh, I don't know. Refinement. 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 Mm -hmm. Of everyday thinking. Refinement of everyday thinking. That means that anybody could be a scientist. Okay. And it's true. That this, there is nothing uh, out of the records from the scientists. The only thing is that they uh, are more commit, commit, they have more commitment to science than the normal people, but anybody can be a science person if they want to. In my case, I am an English teacher, but I have a friend who is a fishery PhD. He's a doctor on fisheries. And we talked and I, I gave him some arguments. Moreover, I gave him a, a task because I wanted uh, in my country, in El Salvador, to have a, a, be, a better management of fish, the, of fisheries. And I asked him to do the a project but a holistic project that means a project that takes into account not only the fishermen and the fish and what they are going to when they are going to to fish but also who is buying it and all the chain from the from the sea to the table. And he told me, he, he asked me because uh, we had 30 years without seeing each other. And he asked me if I studied uh, fisheries. And I say, no, that's why I'm asking you to do that. And he said, that's the best way to approach to fisheries and nobody in the world has done something like that. And, but all my studies uh, uh, up to date uh, lead me to that way of thinking. And I, I think that if we treat fisheries that way is the best way uh, to develop that. And I say, well, Go ahead, do it, and you will you will see in El Salvador if your approach is okay or not. So he was working on that. We already have a project. Uh, we we have a PPT that he has to present, but we have not had the chance to talk with 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 the president. And I am very excited. Because even though I'm not supposedly a science person, uh, I have some, some thinking that is okay. And it, it, it could be proved, okay? It's something that we can do. That's why I said anybody can be a scientist. We just need uh, to develop it better.
Now, lesson objective. By the end of this class, participants will be able to describe a service performed for them by someone else using have or get. Now, uh, first just follow the reading and then uh, you will read it with me. Use have or get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Passive. Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can get your bike fixed at a repair shop. If you notice, it is almost the same, but one is in active voice and the other is in passive voice, okay? Now, repeat after me. Use have or get to describe a service. You have or get, get to describe a service performed for you by someone else. Performed for you by someone else. Active. Active. Do you know where I can have someone fix my bike? Do you, Do know, you know where, where I can have, have someone, someone fix my, my bike? My bike. I can have someone fix my bike. You can have Hazel's personal services fix your bike. You can you have can Hazel's have personal, personal, personal services, personal services, services, services fix your, your, bike. your bike. You can get a repair shop to fix your bike. You can get, you can a, get repair a repair shop, shop to fix your, fix your bike. Your bike. <laughs> Do you know where I can have my bike fixed? Do you know, you know where, where I, I can, can have, have my bike, my bike fixed? fixed? You can have your bike fixed by Hazel's personal services. You can, you can have, have your, your bike, bike fixed, fixed by, by Hazel's personal, 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 personal service. You can get your bike fixed at you a repair shop. You, you can, can get, get your, your bike, bike fixed at a repair, repair shop. shop. Okay. To describe a service performed for you by someone else, active. You can have a repair shop fix your bike. Subject, have, someone, in base form of verb, you can get a repair shop to fix your bike. Okay, this is uh, the the formula. Okay, this is the formula, and this is an example. Okay. In passive. To describe a service performed for you by someone else. You can have or get your bike fixed at or by a shop. Subject, have or get, object, past participle, at or by. Okay. Now we have a knowledge check. Mm 
now. Someone to read it, please. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can see the, the, the knowledge check? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, if you can, please open your platform. Mm -hmm. Now, someone, uh, well, all, all of uh, the ones that we have eight things here and we are, you are nine. So each of you can help it. Now, uh, someone please read the instructions. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, imagine you want to have someone do these things for you. Choose using the active form or have a, or no, of the active form of have and get. Okay. Shorten my skirt. Do you know? Uh, uh, someone please uh, read number one. Noemi. Shorten my skirt. Do you know where I can get someone to shorten my skirt? Okay, which of them do you think is the right one? The active form. The answer is the first. Do you think it's the first? Yes. Okay, now, uh, please choose one of your friends, of your classmates. Um, okay, mm, Fernando. Okay, Fernando. Hi, teacher, good evening. Okay, good evening. The second one. Yes. Cut my hair. Mm-hmm. Do you know where I can get someone to cut my hair? For me, it's the first one. Okay. Now, choose one of your friends, please. Okay, uh, Rafael. Repair my watch. Do uh -huh. you know where I can get someone to repair my watch? Mm. Let me see. Okay. The second one. The, the second, second one. one. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, someone else? Could you choose? Another one, please. Fix my scooter. Choose a friend. Um, Mauricio. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Fix my scooter. Yes. Uh, do you know where I, I can have someone to fix my scooter? Where I can get someone to fixing my scooter or to fix my scooter? Do, do you know where I can have someone to fix my scooter. Okay. The second. Okay. Someone, uh, I choose someone else, please. Ah, uh, let me see. Sorry. Um, Francisco. Thank you. Okay. Take my passport photo. Do you know where I, I can get someone to take my pass my passport photo? 
Mm -hmm. You know where I can ask someone to take my passport photo? The first one or the second one? For me, it's the, the second one. Okay. Now, someone else? Choose someone else, please. Noemi. Number six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Massage my neck. Um, do you know where I can get someone to massage my neck? The first one. Okay, thank you. Choose another one. Okay. Um, Yolanda? No, she already read the instructions. Um, okay. Well, um, Jose Peña? Jose Peña? Clean, seven. Clean my leather jacket. Do you know where I can get someone to clean my leather jacket? Second one. Okay. Now choose another one. The last one. Wait. Uh... Dagoberto? I don't know. Dagoberto. Don Dago. Oh, no, no. Unmute yourself. Yes, unmute. You have to. There in the screen, you have a mute button. Well, somebody that can unmute. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Take care of my pets while I'm away. Uh huh. <laughs> I don't understand that. Um, the bear. I don't know. It's impressive. Impressive. Which one? First or second? Mike, do you know? Second one, perhaps. Yo creo que, I, I guess the second, do you know okay. where I can have some to, to take care of my pets while I'm mm -hmm. away? Okay, now let's check. I see. <laughs> okay, now let's see. What is wrong here? Remember, after two, we need a base form. The bear. Base form. Ah, the bear. Repair. Okay. Here it was not base form. Now here. I can has. Has. If you use can, after can, the verb has to be in fast, in, in simple base form. Okay. So if we need a verb here, it will be not has, but have. I can have. Okay. So is I can get. Hmm. Now. So it has is in a passive form. No, has is is incorrect because every time you use can, 
Ken is an auxiliary. After Ken, you use the verb in simple form, in base form, not conjugated. Here you have a has, which is for the third person singular. Mm -hmm. But when you use can, you don't use a third person singular. You, you use base form. Every time you use can, you say, I can dance, he can dance. You don't say he can dances. You say he can dance. She uh -huh. can sing. You don't say she can sings. Okay? You leave yeah. it in a base form. Okay. That's why this is not correct. If instead of has, they wrote have, you can use it. I can use it. I, I, if is that correct, if I use uh, yes, you, because here you know it says, where I can have I can have I can have someone here, to say. here here it says have or get you you may use have or get okay okay now do you want to copy it open your open your platform and complete it yes teacher yeah, we do that. Okay. Yeah, we see. We did that. So did, huh? Are did. you already had done? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Any doubts about uh, the passive? Is all that clear like horchata? <laughs> as clear as as the uh... Rio Asel Guate. Yes, Someone as a water the, river. <laughs> you know which is the as a water river? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know, have a question, teacher. Yes. For Miss Yolanda. Uh -huh. For take care of my pets. She has nine pets. And you pay for take care. I don't know. I don't no. Know. No, I take no. care of them with my family. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're fine. <laughs> nine dogs. I know. How do you know that she has nine dogs? Ah, como se. Yes. Ella dijo que tenía nueve. Oh, really? El modo, the last uh, level. I, I, I didn't she, she told me. We are my, uh, she's my partner uh, during, all, during all courses. Oh. Number one to okay. here, uh-huh. Nine pets, uh, but you have a big house? Mm, yes, a big, yes, yes. Uh, for them it's okay. Oh. Yes, because if, if, they, if they live in a very small house, they get stressed. Stress, yes. In this moment, they need, they need big place to go and run. They need yes. space uh -huh. to, to have a big patio. You need to have a big uh, patio. And we uh, walk with them uh, every day. <laughs> okay, good for you too. Wow, yes. with, all, with all of them, with the night. Uh, but uh, with my husband and my daughter. Ah, three, okay. three, three, three. <laughs> three, three, three. Wow. for each. Uh -huh. But they are not too big. What? They, they are, are not, not too big. The, the dogs ah, are too not big. big. And no, well, one of them is very, is very big, but the others is in the middle and uh, three is small. <laughs> wow. Or, I don't know, little or small or small. Yes, it could be. <laughs> this the, the the dog that is very big what's race or what the uh... all of them are rescue uh, there are criollos uh, oh. uh -huh. ah, okay all of all of them are are, are uh... aguacateros <laughs> yes they are they are siblings but not for the uh, blood blue blood <laughs> 
I am the mother of them. <laughs> yeah. You are doing a great job. Thank you for taking care of the little ones. <laughs> Thank you, Sofia, for the story. <laughs> <laughs> nine yes. pets. But nine rescue pets. And all of them are uh, cannot cannot have uh, other other dogs uh, or are castrated are, yes you have all castrated of them. All of them yes all of them do you visit the pet the the, the, the bitcoin pet uh, hospital no no because because uh, i think is for uh, people uh, who has a uh, bitcoin and and I think uh, the people who need this this kind of services uh, uh, needs not uh, I don't doesn't have a I don't know job or okay or mm -hmm, or, or money mm -hmm. it's better for them teacher okay <laughs> yes it's a nice hospital I I I saw it. Wow. But I think it's for uh, emergencies and um, emergencies. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes, it's for emergencies. And well, when I went to El Salvador, I already have my two shots of of uh, not three shots of the uh, not not two shots of the vaccine. And I went to the to the big hospital only to get the, the uh, another vaccine because in El Salvador for December uh, you you can have the third vaccination. But here in Panama, I have to wait until March or something like that in order to get my my vaccine. So I said, well, I'm already here in El Salvador. And I went to see how is the service here. <laughs> and I went. And now he, uh, it, now in, in Panama, they they get the other shot and and I got it with, with my family. I, I didn't want to uh, because I said I already have it. And my brother said, you will have problems with the people here because they will ask you to have the complete uh, vaccination program. And they won't accept the one from El Salvador. You better go. And then I went. Now I have four vaccines instead of three. But they already had they already have another shot here. Then I will have five instead of four. Five. <laughs> wow. Yes, because I, I have. Uh, the ones from here and the ones from El Salvador. Ah, okay. I only, I, I only, I only uh, put only two. No, only no, two. The, I, no, the I think one. it's enough. I think it's enough with two. No, with three or four or five. Well, no, I two. have two. I have two AstraZeneca. China and China. Two Chinas. <laughs> I have I have two AstraZeneca uh -huh. and two and two um, what's the other one? Um, um, Chinovac, la Chinovac. No, no. Uh, Pfizer. What? Ah, la Pfizer. Ah, okay. Two AstraZeneca and two Pfizer's. Okay. This is a good combination. Yes, they say that is the best. What? And for you, Mauricio, it's important to vaccinate. Yeah, but I'm scared. I don't know why, but I'm scared about that. But this uh, kind of va vaccinate is Pfizer. Uh -huh. Yes, I, I guess that you should go and get another one. It, the, the more that you have, the better for you. Because uh, even with the even with the vaccine, you can get sick. But if you have, remember one thing: 
this uh, COVID is like um, will stay with us for long time. And the vaccines they have made are not for a lifetime period. You will need to have a shot at least twice mm -hmm. a year. Yeah, in, order think, to, yeah. in, in order to prevent to get sick. Mm -hmm. And even if you have all the vaccines, you could get sick, but you won't die from it, or it won't be that harmful for you. So the, the, the vaccination is a prevention not in order to not to avoid getting sick, but avoiding to die. Yeah. Uh -huh. So if you have the, vac the, the, the vaccines available, I suggest you go and get it. Okay. Because uh, I already I had two different ones and none of them gave me any problem. And if you see every day is another sepa or another sepa. <laughs> yes. So uh, uh, you, you, that's why you need to prevent. And I hope that they are uh, improving the the vaccines as the 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 sickness uh, evolves. Uh -huh. I, I have I have read that the Russian one, I guess, uh, can evolve as the sickness evolves, something like that. That means that it mimics with the with the evolution of the of the sickness. I don't know if it's true or it's just in order to, for them to, to, to get accepted by Europeans. Because remember that Europeans don't accept Russians, but since. Well, any, any doubts about the passive voice? No. No, you understand it well? Yeah. Yes. I think we have it here. <laughs> Somebody is very, very sleepy. Hmm. No. I thought that I don't remember where we see the the passive voice, and I wanted to share it with you. Well, uh, any doubts with the with the platform so far? I don't want to go ahead because for this week we only have one section and it's very short. So if we go ahead, we will be, we'll be finishing tomorrow. <laughs> but you can go ahead with it and we will just check. And here we can talk in order to improve your language, okay? I suggest you to talk as much as you can. Because the more you talk, the more you get involved with the, with the language. And here we are friends. So please ask anything, even about, about Yolanda's pets. <laughs> Do you confuse them 
with, with their names? No. No. Oh, well, I, 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 know I admire, I admire you because I only have three children and I confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny. You are funny. <laughs> yes. Sometimes I want to call Joshua and I say Samuel and I say Danny. These are very normal, that <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> yes. And, and, and sometimes I I I, I change the name. with the three names until I uh -huh. figure it out that the name. Yeah, we change my the husband name. called them Chuchos. <laughs> Chucho, <laughs> vení para acá. <laughs> Then he confuses them because they don't know what Chucho is calling. <laughs> uh -huh. No, you know that. Uh, 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 you know, your, your husband cannot live in Costa Rica, Panama, and Colombia because I... they call Chucha something that you you don't want him to. <laughs> No, but he told uh, chuchos for them, <laughs> for all of them. Chucha, no, only chuchos. Uh, you only have boys. No, I have two two girls. But I I think is two. What is the name of the perras in, in English? I think it's a bad Female word. Dog. No, Female no, dog. no, no. I think it's a uh, the. She, they have a a, no, a, no, a name that uh, I remember is not a good name. I don't remember. <laughs> Yolanda, in Maybe Cuba, you. Chucha is a bad word. Yes, in Cuba. <laughs> no, but also uh, also <laughs> in, in in Panama and Colombia. I remember once I was in in a in a park as a missionary. And then I I I I I, I see a, a perrita, <laughs> and I call her Chucha, and everybody look at me, and I say, "What <laughs> happened here? Nobody likes dogs." <laughs> I remember the name is Bitch. Oh, okay. uh, for for female uh, dogs, it's Bitch. Ah, okay. I have two. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Then, uh, then somebody approaches to me, and it was a man, and he say, uh, "You are talking about the dog," and I say, "Yes," and he say, "Don't call them that way," and I say, "Why?" and he say, "You better don't talk, don't call it that way," and I won't tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, I I talked to to somebody at, at the chip, and they were laughing, and then they told me what it means, and I say you should give us a list of names that we don't have to use, <laughs> because if, 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 even when we are when we uh, speak the same language. Um, there are differences among them. Uh, for example, in El Salvador, if you go to to um, San Miguel and you ask for a paila, they gave you a, a small bacal. That's a paila for them. And they say, no, no, I, I mean, a plate, a small plate. Okay. And they say, no, for us, that's paila. So, even in El Salvador, which is the same country, yeah. but they call the things differently. Francisco Ernesto, you are quiet. Tell me, do you have pets? No teacher, I don't have pets. Because you can't or because you don't like them? Uh, because uh, I have a children. Oh, you have children. Okay. How uh, many how many children do you have? I I have um 
uh, uh, one, one children. And then, then you don't have children. You have a child. A child, okay. Is child. a son or a daughter? A son. It's a son. A, a son, okay. Son. And Jefferson, Jefferson Stanley. Are you married? Oh, <laughs> no, teacher. You I, are single. Okay. Yeah, I am a student. I, I am. No, you can very... be a student and you get married <laughs> very, very young. <laughs> um, no, but I, I am 23 years old. 23. Okay. <laughs> it, it seems that it is not in your. In your in your near future to get married. And it's okay. I guess <laughs> a man should get married after he's 30 years old. 30, yeah. 35. <laughs> not not yes. before. Too old. Too old, teacher. <laughs> no. Uh, you know, if, if they get married to John, then they get divorced because they, they uh, when they are about 35 or 40, they found another woman with different qualities. And they say that that's the love of their life. And then they get divorced from the first one. Because when they get married too young, sometimes they haven't changed their mind yet. Remember that uh, humans uh, are more um, uh, mature than men. Ah, oh, that's the baby. <laughs> and the men are about 10 years less mature than human. So when a, when a man get, gets, gets married too, too young, they, they may change their mind later. So it's better to avoid that, okay. I have three three boys here, and none of them have even a, a girlfriend. One of them said that he didn't want to get married, and I you guess are very yuca teacher. Uh, no, <laughs> the mother in love is very strict. <laughs> no. This is I, the I, reason. I, no, I'm very kind with it. Oh. I, 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 and I even proposed them. I said, I have th three children and they are uh, handsome. If you want to, to, to get involved with them, just let me know. <laughs> uh, I guess that when they get in love with somebody, I will treat that woman as a daughter because I don't have daughters. So, and, and then they will treat my children very well because they will love me. Sometimes some women uh, are mean with their husbands because their mother in love is mean to them. So they know how to hurt uh, uh, the mother-in-law by hurting their husbands. So if I want to avoid that, I will love them, and they will and they will say no. The mother-in-law is very sweet, so I will be sweet with my husband <laughs> because you get what you give. Okay. Remember, if you want to have a, a hurricane, you set storms. So if you want your children to be well treated with, by, by the other uh, person, you have to treat them well. Okay, that's how I think. I guess I will be a very nice, mother-in-law. I, I don't like to interfere with my children. I let them go. <laughs> I, I, I am not a bossy mother. You are and, a what? 
it, you don't know what? Bossy, bossy. What Madonna. Madonna. Ah. Uh -huh. I'm not a bossy mother. I, I, I am a bossy mother. <laughs> I like to be their friend rather than their mother. And in that way, uh, they feel free to talk to me. And I guess that that's the best way to have everything under control. <laughs> if if you are not a friend of your children, they go and do and do whatever they want to do, and you cannot you you don't know anything about them. But if you are their friend, they comment the things they they are doing as a friend. Okay. Do you think so? Yes. Yeah. They, uh, uh, they, they are very open with me. Uh -huh. Teacher, but Mauricio, I, I remember that he uh, married, get married, uh, uh, John. Mauricio, I'm not sure. how old are you? Mauricio Morales. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm married at, uh, when, when I, when I, in my, no, I, it's, I, I married. He forgot. Too, no, I'm not married to John. At, when I had, uh, 30 years old. What, see? He was already ah, mature 30. enough. Uh -huh. Yeah. He yeah, was already not, mature. He knows live, what he wants. We are wants. living a lot. Uh, I'm tired. Uh -huh. to, he knows I'm what tired he wants. I'm tired to go to the parties and something like that. that, that it's, uh, that it's enough and that it's, it's time to put the head in, in a good way. No, you know, it's... Uh, yes. That, that's the best. The, the best. If, if you are more than 30 or 30, you are mature enough. The woman should, should uh, get married after they get their uh, degree, their university degree. Why? Because if they get divorced, they can take care of themselves. Yeah, it's very independent. Yes. That's, because that, there, is, there are many there are yeah. many women that they don't get divorced because the, the man is the one that pays for all the things that she needs. Uh -huh. and, and it's not correct because you, you are depending on somebody and that's why you keep the uh, marriage. That's not good. For me, if you are with somebody, it's because you love each other. It has to be both of you loving each other. If one of you is not feeling the same way, it's better to stop. Okay. That's what happened with me. I ask him, no. You are a mother, you are, but you, but you. I uh, got divorced. Ah, you got divorced. Yes. Yes. And I love my husband. Not a single mother. No. Okay. I, I I love him, but there were there were no communication anymore. And I think that uh, being married with somebody with no communication is not good at all. Yeah, no, you have to no we in, in the uh, in a in a good relation you have to have a good community. the communication is essential in Yes. The marriage. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. And I'm very, I'm very talkative. And he, he, he didn't want to talk to me. But so, what happened with your, your uh, uh, child? My, my children. Uh huh. What happened with you? Uh -huh, with your They children? are with me because I'm communicative with them. Mm -hmm. They decided to be with me because I, I talk to them. I'm their friend. Well, he, he even didn't communicate with the, with with his children so he he was like a stranger at home so it's, it's bad <laughs> that's why yes and and i guess that my my son the older one uh, decided not to get married because 
he observed how his his father was with me and he was not uh, in agreement with him. Yeah. And he doesn't want to repeat the same thing. <laughs> but that's he, is a, he is afraid about that situation. Yes, because he always said that I, I'm, I'm, I was a, a good woman, but he was not a good man. And, and then he, he, he doesn't want to repeat the same thing with someone else. And I say, you, you are different than your father. You, you don't need to, to do the same. But that's he, right. Uh, your son can be the difference with a with a yes with a future uh, wife. Yes, I he told needs, him that all he needs is to to be in love. But he said, "No, I'm not in love with nobody." So they say, "Well, I love you." <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now see you tomorrow, please. Uh, work on your platform if you have any doubts. Just let me know. You can finish even the platform this this week because uh, this week you will have the 80%. When we yeah. finish uh, the uh, section four, you will be finishing the 80% of all. So you are about to receive your, your uh, documents to get enrolled for the next for the pre-advanced three, mm -hmm. okay? okay? Okay. Take care, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Bye, see you tomorrow, Bye. God bless you. Thank you, teacher.